I got my first my first show experience. I think Ethan, I think you were running the show. My first uh, in the early days of Late Night Lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think you were. But they just had me on as a gag to make balloon animals. I'm sure some of you remember. So I was just making balloon animals the whole time, sitting on a stool, and there would randomly be shots of me. And I wasn't drunk, and everybody kept saying I was drunk the whole time. And I think people just think I'm always drunk, and I'm not. So that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> that was... That was sh- I swear to God, Late Night Lemonade is by far one of my favorite shows. Well, I miss it so much. Purpose. Oh, yeah. I, I miss it. I miss sitting at home watching it. Uh, I mean, it was a different sort of humor, I guess. You know what I mean? It's like... It was what, that's the thing, is you know it's good comedy when, <laughs> when it gets shut down because people don't get it. That means it's, it's the future. Yeah, you were ahead of your time. You're way you ahead. Guys. All right, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll but if that. anybody's near Katie right now, if we could find out what's in that mug she's drinking, that would be... Uh... Oh, it's coffee, right? Of course it is. <laughs> it's who drinks, coffee, Who drinks right? coffee? And it's a sparkling yeah. water. <laughs> so not coffee. I don't have any sort of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, my most embarrassing moment on the stream. <laughs> Every day. Every for day. Ethan Newberry. <laughs> I was going to say when I had to run around naked, but that was for charity, so that was not embarrassing. That was uh, that was beneficial to those in need. Um, that was the excuse you were looking for. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think, yeah. honestly, my most embarrassing moment would be my first show, uh, the first Real Cool Club, because now... I look back at that episode and I can't, I can't make it more than a couple minutes into it. I just can't. It was embarrassing. To what about watch. the one where you were dressed up as a lady? No, no, I love that one. Yeah, that, <laughs> oh, that's that one's that was hilarious. A classic. I love it. Yeah, that made the highlight reel for the stream <laughs> constantly. So I can't like <laughs> that. But looking back at the first episode, I was green and we just did not know what we were gonna do and. Well, that's the evolution of any show. You look back at the first episode, and it's completely different than where the show uh, ended. Uh, But that's not the end. I'm just saying the last episode that aired. Um, Far different. Far different. So that's that's me. Jeff or Mike? A different kind of film that experience was when um, I had Lloyd Kaufman from Tromon for the second time. And he brings this girl with him who he... Oh, yeah. this like a, like a diva, but he was just like you know he really wanted to have this um, bipolaria crazy woman with him in the interview, and we were like okay whatever, and she was acting normal before the interview, and then once it started you know with the name like bipolaria she got into character and was acting really strange, and she kept trying to get me to eat this cupcake on the air, and what you guys might not know about me is I'm I'm a borderline germaphobe. And these cupcakes weren't wrapped or anything like that or whatever. And she, she wouldn't let it go. And she kept making an issue of it. And Brian's sending me on the, uh, on the chat monitor, you know, don't eat the cupcake. I'm thinking to myself, little does he know there's no chance in hell I'm eating this cupcake. And um, so it was, a, it, was a, it was a fun, challenging interview that the audience seemed to like. But in the moment of it, I was like, you know, where's this going? When's it going to stop kind of thing? Uh, that, yeah, I can imagine that's a horribly intense moment where you're like, listen, I don't want to offend you. Uh, but no, I don't want to right. eat your cake. And, you know, my show is, you know, Brian has a certain image of film that I don't get to do some of the things, some of the fun stuff that you guys do, so I couldn't, like, have fun with it and, like, go nuts. You know, my thing was is keeping it real, being a little fun with it, but also, you know, redirecting to Lloyd and keeping it about, you know, a film that type of interview kind of thing. You're the James Lipton of the stream. Mm-hmm. You got to keep it real. Got to keep it real. Keep it classy. Mike, did you already answer? Uh, oh, no, I didn't. Um, so it's an uh, embarrassing moment and first day, right? Uh, embarrassing moment was when there was a guy we really wanted to get for commercial break, and it was the uh, freecreditreport.com guy. I hate uh, like those commercials. Well, I love that guy. <laughs> I said I don't like those commercials. <laughs> well, okay, that's fine. And But we found out that he – the problem was he didn't live here. He lived in Canada, and he barely spoke any English. Uh, he was just able to sing the songs and he did a whole thing. So wow. we finally got him on and it was like via like satellite uh, NASA uplink. And we just had one rule that night just to not jump each other because there was going to be a time delay. You're like you're talking to the moon. So every single answer he gave, I jumped him. Uh, <laughs> and it was horrible. I felt so bad because he was such a nice guy. And he, I mean, his mother was literally 
he lives in the, in the same house as his mom, and he, mm-hmm. and she was literally walking around in the background, and I just kept jumping over every answer he gave. It was my biggest amateur screw up ever. First day at the stream, uh, sat down at the uh, the computer at the chat station, and uh, it was like and five and four. Mike, do you have any questions? Yeah, I. What do I do? <laughs> I had no idea. We hadn't even oh, really done a dry run. They didn't give so, you the breakdown. No, I mean we we did we showed up <laughs> to do like a like a, a lighting test, but it turned out to be about Rebecca and her makeup, and we hadn't gone through anything about the chat room, and not none of the chat windows were open, so I literally had no idea what to do. So I just started reading off, you know, chat names and doing shout outs, and um, uh, and I just said, you know what, I don't know if this is going to be one episode or whatever, so I just decided to be edgy. So I uh, I think. When I, uh, Eliza had done a show right before ours where her cat had passed, uh, and I may have made a, uh, crude joke about it and Rebecca was not happy. Brian loved it. Uh, and I think that's, that's when the, all the chat stars were like, oh, Michael probably say anything. Let's tune in yeah. to see what happens next. Yeah, yeah. So that was my first day, not knowing what to do. This is exactly like Apollo 13 after the four minute radio blackout. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ed Harris starts crying. Oh, Ed Harris. What a guy. <laughs> yeah. What a guy. How do I look at the video again? How do I lose that? I don't know. My video. Can you guys hear me? I can hear oh, you. There we go. Yeah. All right. I don't know how much longer I can stay on. Same here. I think we should at least give Justin a sound bite that we can close Absolutely. up the show, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I really want to thank everyone that's in the chat room right now. One, for tuning in and still believing in the stream and the collective and all that's good stuff. Uh, but I also want to thank all of the other hosts that came on with us tonight. Um, I miss all you guys. I missed the stream. I miss everything about it. And uh, it's fantastic to continue to get emails and, and Twitters and stuff like that from haters as well as lovers of the Real Cook Club in the stream. I love it to death. Yep, I agree. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon, and thanks for checking in with me. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, the live stream is dead. I'm rebooting it. But uh, we're doing video, and this will be posted tomorrow for YouTube. The audio podcast will be down or up tomorrow, tonight, tonight, like in an hour. Okay. Um, are you still recording this, though, so our shout-outs are still good? Yes. Okay. Did uh, did everybody say goodbye? No, no, it's just me and Aaron so far. Okay, Katie. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Um, I miss this, and I miss seeing familiar. I want to say faces, but I guess I have to say screen names on the chat in the <laughs> chats. Um, and then seeing it was really cool to see all of you guys, um, other hosts and Justin, and this was super fun. And I hope we can do it a lot more. Yeah, unfortunately, as live viewers know. We lost Skype for a while there. Um, thank you guys for popping on. Thank you guys for popping on on webcam. Uh, Jay, hey, Justin, you, I got something to say. I didn't get to say goodbye. I, I was saving you for last, dude. Jeff Schubert. Okay, thanks. Jeff Schubert. No, I just want to say, first of all, uh, very very well said by the previous host in terms of the goodbyes and the thank yous to everyone listening and to, to the other hosts for participating in it. And I especially want to ditto the part about you know, the positive energy and those of you that still believe in us. You know, this is the entertainment business. One minute we're, we're not here, the next we're there. So um, stay positive. You know, Brian is working his ass off. And, in fact, again, you know, the weekly news back on, you know, this last week. And he's going live every day. So there, there is some rumblings. Brian and I, we worked on a new beginning for Film Nut that we wouldn't do if we didn't think it was going to be coming back. So... Again, thanks for the positive energy. Stay positive for us. Stay positive you know, in your own lives, too. Things may not be going the way you want the second you want them to, but that doesn't mean if you stay with it, you, know, you can't make it happen, and that's what we're still trying to do every day, all of us both, all of us for the stream and all of us in our individual careers. So you know, hopefully not too long before we get together again and, and we reminisce about, uh, oh, remember that little blip in the screen? <laughs> off a little bit, you know, and hopefully that's what this will turn out to be. So thanks again, and stay positive, guys. I don't know if this is saying goodbye twice, but I just want to thank everybody personally. Uh, Jeff, thank you. Katie, thank you. Mike, thank you. Ethan, Aaron, thank you. Uh, we'll be-
we'll be doing this again in maybe three weeks, two weeks. I don't know. Maria, huh. Merrill, uh, Lindsay Harbert, um, Jesse Schneiderman, they've all agreed to do the show in the future. Cool. Bye. 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 Later.